Hi everyone, this is Business is Personal. Welcome back. I'm here with some amazing guests today. Today we're talking to our HR professionals out there. It's all about hiring and retaining talent. The, uh, the most important thing for me is when I hire people, I match the current salary they have. They yep. never increase. Why? Because if they jump for money, they will jump for money to somewhere else. The second thing is we create followership. So the, the last company was with the Joel that I uh, created. We scaled from zero to more than a thousand people within three years. What we do is we try to excite people about our story. We excite them about our leadership team, about the personalities. So, and they got offers that are sometimes twice the salary they make today. They came, showed us the offer, said, we don't want more money from you. This is our value in the market. We want to do this because we have fun at what we do. The same company, Hayes, did another study uh, last year and they revealed that 60% of employees in the Middle East are currently looking for another job. 60%. That means 60% of your staff is currently looking for another job. So like, if that's a, I mean, that's a powerful statistic, but it's essentially, it's an indication that, like you said, it's not that they're not getting paid enough, it's that they feel they don't belong. Everyone's so focused on retaining, but we can't hold people hostage. Exactly. But embracing a positive departure just is even more um, sort of PR value for the business. You create an alumni yeah. of cheerleaders yeah. who are, and then they become customers or clients, or they come back, and yeah. we had instances um, with the agency I was running for 15 years, people, like you said, would leave, go to a new role, ring us. Five years later, they were coming back into really senior roles. They'd gone out into the world, mm -hmm. increased their skill set, and then were really benefiting us as well as them coming back into the fold. Yep. So it's really important to support and recognize that people will leave. We have a lot of millennials in the company, and, and the way we retain them is by like challenging them a lot. Like The purpose is one thing, but you quickly realize that what you're working on is not saving the world. It's it's doing something like solving a big problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but in order to stay like focused and stay like relevant, you have to challenge yourself. And that's what we keep on doing with all our employees. When they get big offers somewhere else, like we, we show them that, yeah, you might be getting an offer from this place, but are you sure that that's going to be challenging you? And we encourage them to go there and see could they actually be challenged by this? I'm looking for someone who's a lifelong learner. So yeah. generally speaking, especially in key roles, when I'm reading the CV, if the last piece of certification or training or education you did was 10 years ago, you're probably not gonna get an interview, <laughs> right? If you're not constantly upgrading yourself, because the information changes so fast and there's so much more to learn uh, today than there, there was yesterday and so much tomorrow, right? So if you're not constantly in a learning posture, and you're not constantly bettering yourself in terms of your, your learning for your, uh, for your career. If you're not investing in you, why, shouldn't I, why should I invest in you? 